Um, I'm going to start by talking a little bit about what we accomplished in 2020, despite the pandemic, and then what you can expect from us in 2021 and years to come. So if you roll back the clock to the very beginning of the year, we unveiled the Cruise Origin, which was our first purpose-built all-electric autonomous vehicle for the rideshare and also delivery businesses. And that was great because it gave us a chance to show the world uh, the vehicle and the platform on which our technology is going to be deployed at scale to unlock all the great benefits of autonomous vehicle technology. And after that, we announced that this vehicle, Cruise Origin, is going to be built at Factory Zero, which is GM's plant uh, dedicated to building vehicles powered by Ultium battery technology. And that's important to us because we're not really interested by the potential impact that a couple hundred vehicles can have in one city. That's nice, and I'm, even if those vehicles are doing great things, but what matters to us at Cruise and, and for our mission is to use Factory Zero to build tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of Cruise Origins so that all those vehicles can be out there touching people's lives with a form of transportation that's uh, safer and more affordable and more accessible. And so that's what we're looking forward to with Factory Zero. And then, of course, later in the year, uh, roll the clock forward a little bit and the pandemic hit. Um, we took a look at ourselves and the company and, and thought about what we could do. And we decided to repurpose our fleet to deliver food for communities in need in San Francisco. And so we found two local organizations, the SF Marin Food Bank and SF New Deal, and repurposed our fleet to do deliveries. And to date, we've done over 140,000 meal deliveries. And that's awesome. It makes us feel really good at Cruise. Uh, and even though that's a big number, we know it's just the tip of the iceberg uh, for the potential impact that positive, the positive impact autonomous vehicles can have on our communities. Then a little bit later in the year, we announced our partnership with Walmart, the world's largest retailer, to do a pilot of grocery delivery in Scottsdale, Arizona. And that shows the versatility of the technology we're building uh, and also one of the primary uses of the cruise origin when we start to produce that at scale. Then later on, we had a really important milestone uh, both for crews uh, and the industry, and also for me personally, which is our first fully autonomous drive with no human backup driver, nobody behind the wheel, on the streets of San Francisco. And that was a big deal. Um, you know, even though our cars are driving around San Francisco all the time without anyone touching the wheel, doing it with no human backup driver meant that we had done all the validation, testing, legal, uh, lots more testing work uh, to make sure that we had a product that was safe to deploy. And that was in no small part due to our partnership with GM and the five months of testing and trial runs that we did at the Milford Proving Grounds. So thank you, GM. That was really great. And of course, all throughout the year, we used our fleet of electric vehicles, electric autonomous vehicles, to collect hundreds of thousands of miles of autonomous driving. And that's useful not just for the data that helps us train our AI uh, or for the uh, providing feedback for our engineering teams, but also to give a sense of how the general public and other drivers and our potential customers are going to react to autonomous vehicle technology. And that's really important as we look forward to 2021 and, and beyond when we do early commercialization of this technology. And as you might expect, we still have plenty of work to do until any of you can ride in a cruise origin whenever you want. Uh, but in 2020, we burned down a lot of the big technical and scientific and engineering work uh, and risks that could have held us back. And as you know, our mission is not just to build self-driving car technology or build a self-driving car. It's to build a form of transportation that's safer, cleaner, uh, and more affordable and more accessible than what exists today. And we're on the verge of doing that thanks to our partnership with GM, of course, many years in the making. Um, so many more good things to come. And as I looked at 2021 and beyond, uh, specifically in 2021, you're gonna see our product become more tangible, more visible. Some of you might get to use it. And we're really, really excited to bring all of you along with us on that journey. So thank you.